Yeah, getting my debut was uh, was a cool feeling. It was funny. I saw uh, a Facebook memory the other day. It was a 10 year, 10 year anniversary of me playing against Bath for Newcastle, and then you know, 10 years on to be, to be playing for Bath is, was, was kind of cool and a, a cool little reminder. Um, done a good job getting out of the forwards. That first picture was me playing number eight, and uh, I made it out of the forwards onto the wing. So that was, that was pretty special. Uh, the transition back has been a little easier than the one it was going out to the NFL. Um, obviously, that was learning a new game, etc., etc. I knew nothing about that. You know, I guess it's a little bit like riding a bike. You never, never truly forget. So it's been, uh, it's been cool to, to kind of brush up a little bit. The game has moved forward, no doubt. There's a lot of different aspects now than, um, than when I was first playing 15s. Uh, but you know, it was, it's been a great experience and um, had a lot of help from the coaches, from the players, from the team. So uh, yeah, almost an up upwards now. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff I, you know, by the end of my my three years in the NFL, I felt like an American football player um, and no longer a rugby player. So it has it has been a trans transition again. You know, I think maybe people would say, oh, he's done it before, so it would be would be fairly easy, but that's just not the case because I kind of gave everything to, to becoming an NFL player, um, in which, you know, stood me in good stead. But new game now with rugby again. Some stuff comes more naturally than, than before, but it's, uh, it's all a learning process and, all I can do is turn up every day and, and, and put my best foot forward and try and get a little bit better and help this team and I feel like I've been doing that. Yeah, I feel like every forward would love to get out of the forwards but not just out of the forwards and onto the wing. Uh, you know, just a dream come true for any, any forward I'm sure. 100% uh, no malls in training. That's absolutely the, the golden ticket, to be honest. I mean, but in the NFL, you have to do very little endurance work. Um, and kind of, you know, that's that's how I became like that. I became very much a power athlete. Um, you know, even the first couple of weeks, was I, all I was doing pretty much was conditioning, not a lot of rugby. So it's been a transition from doing all that conditioning, coming into rugby a little bit, drip feeding that, and then bringing my conditioning up with rugby. And then, um, you know, getting to a place where in quite little time, you know, it's, it's been only a couple of months, two months, so um, since I got here and, you know, I really feel you know, fit and ready to go, so it's been, it's been very cool and very proud of the position. I was faced, you know, one-on-one -on -one with some of the scariest athletes on, in the world with the NFL, um, so there's no one I fear now, you know what I mean? I've, I've been there, I've done it, been through the fire um, and just, I'm, you know, ready to show what, what I can do, so here we go.